it's Easter time, it's autumn, it's a great time for harvesting all sorts of things, mushrooms are coming up, there's berries, there's fruit, there's plenty of rabbits. I'm going to show you guys the ultimate way how to spit roast rabbit outdoors on an outdoor fire. You will need tin foil, some thin wire, obviously a rabbit, a form of making fire, butter, salt and pepper and a few herbs. Hunters, if you're shooting your rabbit, you need to head shoot it. If you're buying it from the shops, you'll need a whole rabbit that's intact. You won't need the head, but you'll need the whole body. Those of you that are a wee bit squirmish about stuff dying, don't worry, I'm not going to film shooting the Easter Bunny. But when I have shot it, I'll whack its head off, skin it and gut it, and hang it in the fridge for three days to break the meat down. None of this English method of hanging it with its fur and guts and bum and everything intact. I like to get all bacteria away from the meat. So I'll go and do that and hopefully get a rabbit. Uh, in about three days it'll work out perfectly because my daughter's coming to starve me again. She generally brings a friend over for dinner that night, so um, hopefully I can share this process with somebody new as well. We'll see how that pans out anyway. See you in the clip. As you can see, it was a good headshot, so that's what we want. She'll be perfect. Bruno, hey, would you like a rabbit head? But you would, hey. Geez, that was quick, boy. Gone already. So for your spit, it's really important that the wood that you're using is not poisonous. And there's a lot of woods out there that are, so you need to know what they are and what they're not. So do your research. Um, I'm going to be using a bit of this uh, five finger that's growing behind me. Caprosma's good. Manuka's good. We're looking for something that's green, so we don't want it to burn and uh, straight. So I'm going to take a bit of this off now. And I'm going to take this and just take the bark off where I'm going to be putting it next to the meat. Okay, I'm going to butterfly this. So I want to open up down the brisket into the neck. Open her up. So I've still got a lung and a heart, and I know a dog that will love that heart and lung. Freshly chopped garlic, yum. And that's going to go really nice with the butter. Now rabbits are pretty mild sort of a game. Bob, leave it. Away you go. So you don't want to go over the top with uh, your herbs and spices. Some of those Italian herbs are quite nice, but uh, butter's a must because these animals have no fat virtually on them. Well, no fat you can speak of, so. Butter and garlic just, uh, the garlic gives it the flavour and the butter just stops it uh, having that dry taste that rabbit has. People say rabbit tastes like chicken but I reckon it tastes just like rabbit. Now basil is a great ingredient to have. A little grass and everything. Hey Bob get out mate! Basil is a great ingredient to have with rabbit. It really complements it well. So that's all the herbs I'm putting on it. Um, just going to season it with a bit of pepper. Some sea salt. Uh, 
Okay, boys and girls, my Easter bunny is good to go. Well, almost. Now, the next part is the part you don't see when people are doing this when you look at YouTube clips and videos and Walt Disney movies. And this is where they get it wrong, because the rabbit dries out real quick. You've got to put something around it. Unless you're cooking inside a fire pit with an oven that's enclosing the heat, you've got to have something around it. So we're going to wrap it in tin foil. Now, I'm using second-hand tin foil, but uh, if you've got a fresh roll, better still. But I like to recycle. This stuff here we find. This just reminds me of changing nappies with my kids when they were small. Right, uh, this is good to go on the spit. As you can see, I've wired each leg to my spit. Now when you do this, just uh, before you put it on, just give it a turn around and see if it's going to fall off or hang or do anything funny. Yeah, it's hanging a bit on that side there, you see, so I need to tighten that one up before you put on the fire. You can see one arm's a little bit uh, loose. The rest looks pretty good, but the front's hanging, so I need to fix that up. Oh yeah, that's pretty crap actually. Right, test number two. Is it going to slide? I reckon it's going to be sweet. Right, let's put on the fire. You can see how I made my fire, how it's got the back and it's pulling the draft up. So you want a good flat stone at the back of your fire. How hot do you need to cook your rabbit? Place your hand there, 15 seconds. If you can hold for 15 seconds. Oh, I'm starting to hurt now. Mother, that's uh, mother. I love my mother. Okay, uh, that's really good to go. I've been burning this fire for probably an hour while I've been working, so I've got a base of really hot embers down in here. So I'll put the rabbit on. Let's see how she goes. Just like so. The sharp end goes in the ground and the dirt like that. Sweet. Just going to boil these pears up because they're a bit hard still. And then I'm going to fry them in butter. Well, Evie, who came for tea, bought these figs, which are going to be fantastic with the rabbit, and these will make great dessert, these grapes. The girls also uh, forage these mushrooms, and they're not really keen on mushrooms, but I am, so I'm going to cut them up and whack them in the pan. Yeah, I think we'll do Make me cakes like this, guys, I'll put them in the pan. I'll take the mushrooms. You're doing well, mate. Why do you think you can't do it? Because you've never done it before. That's not a reason, you'll be sweet. Just flip it onto mine, then pull it back. Flip it over, just, there you go. Now take it off my one. Oh, perfect. Awesome, well done. Hey, that branch looks a bit rotten there, Evie. I wouldn't trust it, mate. The one's Evie, it's got no leaves on it. Well, that's because it's been cooked in this. It's been cooking for about uh, three hours. Where did you shoot it? Headshot it. The back legs are the best part. But, um, actually, the back steaks are nice. Honest opinion? That's, that's nice. That's good. <laughs> First time you've had it? Yep. Awesome. Pan. I wasn't sure if you were going to like that because when I was <laughs> cutting it off you were going, ooh, yuck, ooh. <laughs> but hey, you and probably every other teenager do exactly the same. It's a pretty normal reaction. Okay. And those figs will be really nice with it too. That's cooked in garlic, basil, salt, pepper, butter and 
a little bit of rosemary. Mm. If you had to rate these wild mushrooms, where would you rate these, um, honestly? Normally I would do it about three, yep. but that was probably about a seven or eight. A seven or eight yeah. today? Yeah. Well, thanks for getting them. You guys get them together. Mm. Foraging for food, I've got this theory that when you forage for it yourself, it tastes better. It does, uh, yeah. yeah. That's the Easter Bunny. <laughs> no Easter eggs for us this year. Yeah, I do get Easter. I'm dead. Mm. <laughs> hey, thanks for bringing these figs and grapes. They're awesome. Cooking your rabbit every sort of half hour, just peel back the tin foil and check it. It's a slow process. This has been cooking for really three hours, really slow, but the meat is really tender. And these young ladies are really enjoying it. So it wasn't a chewy old tough one, which you generally get when you're cooking on a spit without that tin foil and butter to keep it all moist. And it could even take you longer. You generally work on, when you're cooking meat, one kg per hour, but this is a bit different because you're not in a controlled situation where you've got an oven for the heat. Anyway, have fun with cooking your rabbit. And uh, if you do do one outside like this, uh, post something in the comments below and let us uh, know how you got on with it. Good luck. Love and the green will Grow it in your garden, harvest on the hills, or take it with your knife. Raising that children.